What makes fireworks colorful? Good question. Let's start with a simple white firework. This is an example of incandescence. Think of an incandescent light bulb. When something gets really hot, its atoms vibrate around, smash into each other, and release energy in the form of light. As it heats up, it goes from red to orange to yellow to white. That gives us bright white fireworks and sparklers. They're just flecks of really hot metal. But incandescence is hard to control to get specific colors. For that, you need luminescence. The yellow firework is yellow because of luminescing sodium, the same stuff that's in good old table salt. If you take a little bit of salt and put it in the flame of a Bunsen burner, it shines a bright yellow. Heat makes the sodium's electrons get excited in a very particular way. They jump from a low energy state to a high energy state. And when they fall back down, they release a photon, a little packet of light. Because of the particular architecture of a sodium atom, it gives off mostly yellow light, so it's used in yellow fireworks. Other elements give off different sets of colors. Strontium, which used to be used in TV screens, gives us red. Calcium, the stuff in our bones, has greens, yellows, and reds that combine to a strong orange. Barium, the stuff you swallow so you can x-ray your GI tract, gives us green. They used to use a great chemical for blue, but they decided it wasn't a good idea to fill the air with arsenic. So now they go with copper instead. These chemicals go into fireworks as boring powders, but light the fuse and... So what causes that explosion? It turns out it's the same process powering your body right now. To learn more, check out our other 4th of July video. Submit your questions here, and please like, share, and subscribe.